I'm so sorry. I keep trying to focus my camera and it just doesn't like to focus very much. I'm trying to like set it on autofocus. It keeps glitching out. I don't know. Ever since I fucked with the settings one time, it's been like really weird. And like, I think it's, it's because I have it set wrong. I don't think the camera's broken because I literally have done nothing to make it broken. I think whatever I'm recording the camera at, it's fucking with it. But anyways, the new Star Versus came out. Oh my God. I'm so excited. It's been so long since I could watch a cartoon. I'm so excited. Uh, you guys have no idea how much I love cartoons. Specifically, I really like Star Versus. It's cute as heck. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just listening to- well, I'm sort of watching it as I'm drawing, so I'm I'm doing it bad, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fuck with the settings a little bit today. Got some dinner. I'm on the point-and-shoot settings, so it should be auto-focusing. Um, watching my cartoons while I'm eating my soup. Got a croissant. And my mom, she she has this, uh, like, because she, she, she again uh, works with the, like, autism students, but her- like, one of the parents is Russian, so she always gives, like, Russian treats and stuff. My mom doesn't like dark chocolate, so she gave me this. And I'm like, ooh, fancy Russian chocolates, yes! I'm excited to eat those. Those look pretty good. I can't eat a lot of dark chocolate or I'll vomit senselessly, but oh my fucking god. Um, like, because I have Crohn's disease and this causes flare-ups. So every time I'm going to eat one of these, it's just a potential death bomb inside my intestinal tract. <laughs> so technically, this is like having cancer on my desk, but I'll risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, it looks like a Kit Kat. Like, look at it. <laughs> Let's see. I've never seen chocolates like this before. That's weird. Their servings are kind of like Kit Kats. I don't know if it is a Kit Kat. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. It's sad that I like eat foreign food absolutely not knowing anything in it, but I don't care because I, I, I live on edge. So let's see. All right, let's try this fucking chocolate. All right. I didn't mean to bite that much. I bit like half of it. It's got like peanuts in it. It tastes like those, um, like when you get a box of really fancy chocolates. They have like those peanut chocolate. It, it tastes like that, but like in stick form. It's really good. Highly recommend this fancy Russian chocolate. Ooh, fancy. La di da. Sorry these vlogs are kind of boring lately. I'm not really doing much, so I mean, you know. Um,. Yeah, but I figured I'd show you some of the stuff, because these are all the pages that I'm working on today, so, um, yeah, so I have to draw, like, all of these, um, today. Which, I know this seems like a lot to draw, but, like, honestly, this is gonna sound, like, really stupid, but it's, like, even though, like, the drawing that I'm drawing over is super fucked up and, like, messed up, just that I know that I'm just drawing over it and just updating the art is significantly easier than just doing a page from thumbnail to final. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, I already know how it's supposed to look, so it's like, it's just, it's just easy. I don't know. Um, so like, that's one of the pages that I'm almost done with. Almost done. You saw these last time, so, um, yeah, I did that. And a lot of these things are not actually that hard, which it makes me realize how much time I waste on just, like, art shit that doesn't matter. Because, like, look at this stuff. This composition's not hard. A lot of these things, it's, like, it's just easy. And, like, the stuff that's actually hard is, like, not that hard. Like, what, this has, like, a little bit of perspective, but it's all zoomed out, so it's not actually that hard. Um, a lot of the things that are, like, hard aren't actually hard. Um, this page, I'm gonna have to make sure I get right, because I really like this page, so I want to make sure it's, like, good in the new version, but, like, I don't know, it makes me realize how much time I waste on my comics, and I need to just, like, learn how to make it more simple. So, one thing you guys might not know, like, about the Kickstarter is, like, ev well, I guess a lot of you will do know, um, everybody's gonna get a pencil case now, but I don't feel like I've really explained, like, how I'm making these, like, pencil cases. 
So I'm ordering like a wholesale amount of pencil cases. Um, so this is a lot of 300 pencil cases for 276 bucks. Uh, shipping is free to the US. Um, it will take a while, so that's the only thing I'm worried about with the whole Kickstarter is like, if this delays things, I'm gonna be so pissed. Um, so it better be here in 200, in, in 22 days. But anyways, um, uh, basically I'm going to be block printing onto it. So I pulled up this Instagram. I really, I'll, I'll like actually put the link, um, in, in like the pinned comment or something. But, um, if you don't know what block printing is, usually what you do is you carve it out yourself and it's, it's on rubber. But since I'm I'm also getting the laser, I can just laser engrave the rubber and just make a gigantic rubber stamp. And uh, so if you watch a lot of these little videos on her, uh, or there, I don't really know their uh, sex, you can see how it's done. So this is a fabric. You can see her pulling it up. Um, you can either stamp on it or you can do it like this. It doesn't really, you know, it, it depends on what your effect is. And I'm going to have to experiment, of course, but... Um, yeah, basically you put the ink on the stamp and then it's it's just like a stamp. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I wanted to do this is because I just, I want it to be more of a handmade thing. Plus pencil cases are really, really fucking expensive. So I was like, okay, this is a way to like make it cheap because I'm doing all the work. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm doing it. And I'm also intending on later on if, if you know, if I'm able to make it look good, uh, do some bags. So I'll show you the bags. Hold on. Let me pull it up Okay, so I found this company that like does a lot of wholesale bags that have like canvas and I want it to be natural fabric because you never know how fabric paint will react to non natural surfaces, but canvas usually is pretty good for uh, You know actual pigment so they have these types of messenger bags which are like actually legitimately really nice um, as you can see um, that one will be a more expensive bag, but they also have a bag that is kind of like a, like a cheaper version of that. So like you can see that here, it's got a zipper top. It's got a, it's got two little pockets in the front and it's got a strap. It's like a tote bag, but like a little less shitty. And, um, I think that one will be pretty nice to work with. So, um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, they're not very expensive just to buy, um, I don't know what I would charge for each particular one. Obviously, this one is a little more, you know. Um, but, yeah, my plan is to eventually do these types of bags as well. So, yee. I like drawing old Simon because he's such a fucking, like, asshole, sort of. <laughs> Before he's depressed, he's just sort of like, um, no, bitch. This is my bed. <laughs> And then he becomes sad. <laughs> the story. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be drawing him in his nerd ass fucking pajamas, all the way buttoned up bullshit. I and I uh oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I wanted to show you this since I'm cleaning that other room. This is like a really, really old like photo album um so it's got a lot of like really cool stuff in here so these are actually um like when you buy flowers for somebody you would have a card so all of these are like little cards um some of them had images on them i'm trying to find them and it, what's funny is it's some of them are not from my grandpa so my my grandma kept flowers from other men but i really like these like clear because this is uh what is this called um I know the name of this stuff. I don't know. It's like a wax type paper where they, uh, where you can print on it. And, um, I'm thinking about getting some of that stuff, but here's some like really old family photos. Um, but yeah, look at that. One cent stamp. Um, anyways, um, let's continue. Yeah. Um, I just think this shit is cool, and uh, I don't want, you know, my family to, well, specifically my brother, to fuck with any of this stuff, because if he does, then he ruins our entire family history stuff. Um, so yeah, some of them have fallen out of the little frames here, but yeah, 
thought I would just show you guys some of this stuff because it's cool as shit. Um, like, look at that. I like that one. It's funny. Um, but yeah, my uh, grandma's name was Florence. Um, so this is from the Florence side of the. This is well, technically Harden, the last name. Um, this is from the Harden side of the family. Like, look at that. What a charmer, huh? <laughs> I love this. It's just so pretty, isn't it? See, these are more recent in here. Wow. Look at that. So cool. I love the little, like, it's embossed. The embossed mats. So nice. See, so many of them have fallen out. That's the sad part. It's a horse. My family's like uh, sort of Portuguese, so we have a lot of like black haired relatives. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought I would show you that. We're like Portuguese and German. So in case you're wondering, what is my lineage? It's, it's white people mixed with not white people. I'm literally just a mutt. My mom also gave me these. Um, so you guys saw like that athletic tape that I used previously. Well, my mom had like a hoard of it and uh, she, she's letting me have it. And um, what I'm gonna use it for is to package like the charms and stuff so like they don't get damaged. I'm gonna put a cellophane bag around the charms and then this, cause I don't know if this will stain wood probably uh, cause it's just cheap foam. But if I put a cellophane bag around it, it'll protect it more. But yeah, my mom, she's a autism specialist, and uh, basically she uses a lot of shit like this to help her students count, like, um, like this particular thing was so that she had like a pegboard on the wall to teach kids to like, because um, every little thing that you wouldn't think about you need to teach an autistic kid to do, so just grabbing something off a shelf, she needed to teach her students that. So, um, she had, like, a whole, like, fake store set up to teach them, um, basic, like, hey, grab that, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, she, so she let me take these. So that's gonna be great, because this is a lot of foam, foam tape, so. e. Literally the second day my brother's here, and we don't know where he is. What's new? Oh my god, there's a fucking wrapper in here. Anyways, um, I will update you guys if there's anything crazy, but I thought I would, like, explain this to you. Or like, like, let you know, like, I just want to know you, you guys' thoughts on this. So, I used to actually use cold lamination, and, um, with cold lamination, you need a cold lamination, like, press, and that's what this is. I, I'm actually turning this. Um, and one thing I was thinking about was if I ever want to do wood block prints, or just, like, block printing, what's to say I couldn't use this instead of buying an actual big press? Like, I know this one would be kind of ghetto, but the top parts of this, like, you can move this so this wheel is more, like, up more. So, like, I'm betting if I, if I can, like, figure it out, I could probably make this work as a block press so I'd, I wouldn't have to buy another thing. Because, like, if it works, it works, you know? I don't know. I just want to see if it'll work, so I'm going to keep it for now. We went to Walmart today and um, I got this shampoo. I'm sure it will probably suck. I also got the conditioner, of course. Um, I'm always on the lookout for like sulfate free shampoo and conditioner because I think I've said this before, um, my hair basically gets crazy dandruff. I don't. It's really gross to explain that because it's like my head is basically a snow globe if you scratch it. Um, and head and shoulders is a scam. So hold on, my cat, oh my fucking god. What are you doing? Stop scratching at the door. My god, the floor. Anyways, um, uh, basically, head and shoulders is a scam. You can, like, you can use it a million times, but like, as soon as you stop using it, the bacteria that causes, um, the bacteria that causes, uh, 
dandruff will come back. So it basically enforces that you will use it forever or you need to switch your shampoos that are causing the bacteria to be there in the first place. So I'm trying to do sulfate free because it means that there's less residue on your hair, which is like really good. So that's kind of what I want to maybe solve the dandruff issue. It's like 5.30 in the morning and like, I really, really want quesadillas really bad. And I've been awake like all day, like all night and all day. And I've wanted a quesadilla ever since yesterday. And I, as you guys know, I like to walk to the store because I don't like to be a mooch off my mom. And when I want stuff, I just go get it and I don't like to trouble her with being like, hey, can I get a ride? It's only if I absolutely have to get a ride. So I usually walk to the store in the middle of like, like towards the evening. But as I mentioned, I've been wanting a fucking quesadilla since like last night and it's 5.30 a.m. So I was like, okay, how about I just go in the morning to the H-E-B and get the shit for the quesadillas. Because if you don't know, yesterday I attempted to get the quesadilla stuff. Fucking loud ass vehicles. It's a school zone, you fuckers. Respect it. Anyways, um, I know it's only 5.30, but come on, it's like a school zone. Um, anyways, uh, I attempted to get the quesadilla shit last night. Ooh, what is that? Is that a, what is that? I'm always like cautious of snakes, so if there's anything weird, it's just like trash. It's literally McDonald's trash, but like if anything is remotely coiled, I get scared. You can't see shit, so I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Anyways, just know that I am, it's sort of dark, but like not dark enough to matter. Like I know this area, all, that, all that's out here right now is just old ladies going for jogs and stuff in the morning. Back to the quesadilla story. So, I really wanted a quesadilla and I walked to the store yesterday to get the quesadilla supplies because I, I make a mean, it, it's like the healthy version of a quesadilla. I will show you guys the supplies later. Anyways, in order to get this quesadilla supplies, you need this low calorie tortilla. It's a 50 calorie tortilla and it's really great. I will show it to you later if they have it. If they don't have it, I think I'm gonna shit bricks because I have worked so fucking hard to get to this, get this tortilla. Anyways, God, there's like tall grass right here. And I'm like, I feel like I'm in like Pokemon where it's like if I run into a rattlesnake, I think I will indeed piss my pants. Anyways, um, so I was walk, I was in the store and they had one fucking tortilla thing left one tortilla thing left and it's the low cal it's 50 calorie tortillas and they're also keto friendly so they're very popular with all the keto bitches so i was reaching for it and i swear to god this motherfucker who looked like beans from even stevens he he fucking swiped it from me he swiped my quesadilla shit right in front of my eyes I gave up at that point. I put everything back from my fucking basket and I was so fucking angry <laughs> that I just, I was like, you know what? I'll come back tomorrow and get all this stuff. So that's the plan, bitches. That's what I'm doing. See, when it's actually lit, it's not scary at all. Um, it's like that daylight savings time where it's like, normally this would be actually pretty bright outside, but it's not bright because of daylight savings time. I like the winter daylight savings where it's more, um, like where it's really light in the morning and then it gets dark early because that kind of fits with my schedule. Um, but yeah, I also like, I wanted to go right now for the quesadilla stuff because my brother is back, as you know, and I don't feel comfortable, I don't feel comfortable leaving the house with just him in there, so I figured I could... I could go get my shit, come back before my mom wakes up, and then I have my supplies, the house is safe, and quesadilla time, motherfuckers. And it means that I can go on a walk. I know I'm crazy as balls, like, but like, I don't know. I just, 
I like walking in the grocery store alone. I think it's really weird living with your parents because like I feel like a pseudo child and it's like I like to shop for things on my own and I hate going with my like to the grocery store with my mom because it's like I don't know she guilts me into like her paying for things and I don't want that so I literally just fucking do really stupid shit like this where I walk to the store at 5 30 a.m. all right bitches these are the tortillas these are the ones 50 calories. They're pretty fucking big too. So you take this, you combine it with some cheese spread. This one's 40 calories. Technically the Laughing Cow one is 35, but they didn't have the the like the kind that I wanted, so I got this instead. So 50, 40, put some lettuce, and then some mango pico de gallo. I buy this because like I know that like no one else in my family will eat this, so I can't just make it because it, I would make too much, so it's like literally easier just to buy it. But like, for your reference, just make normal pico de gallo and then just add mango. There you go. <laughs> and then we combine. So let, let's just do some magic and then I'll magically have one right here. Okay, so I spread the cheese really thin on there. I'm actually splitting the cheese into like two, so I can have two in the morning. So each one, if you if you half the cheese, it's 85 calories. So pretty fucking sweet for breakfast. It's only 100 and fucking 70 calories, I think, if I did my math correct for both of these. So yeah, it's like nothing. And like, it's pretty great because it's got all the shit that I like. And um, obviously if you got the Laughing Cow, the, I swear to God, like the Laughing Cow cheese is hard to find. That's like in the little... Um, individual servings. I don't know why. Um, and I'm not really super into cheese, but it kind of like makes it. So like, honestly, you kind of, I feel like you need the spreadable cheese on there. Otherwise it sucks ass because it just feels like you're eating too much vegetables. So like, you know, it's up to you what you want to add. I usually add like way too much pico de gallo, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that's, that's Holly's quesadilla, even though there's hardly any fucking cheese on it. I don't, I don't really want to call this a taco. So, uh. I made a uh, milk-free latte, um, and basically how you do that is you take a, I would, in the recipe it says a, four, uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of xanthane gum, and you blend it with 16 ounces of coffee. I would say, like, take half of that fourth and just throw it away, and only put like, uh, like an eighth of of a teaspoon of xanthane gum and you blend it with um I use like sweet and low and the coffee and it gives it like this it immediately changes color like instead of that dark color it, it, it's like it acts as a creamer and it makes it really frothy because you can see all the bubbles um I'm just saying it's like the best latte ever I'll link a an article to it and it's like really low calorie so if you're one of those people who's like who who likes the um the Starbucks the Starbucks like crazy intense sugar drinks maybe this is a way for you to like wean off the sugar drinks i mean it is fake sugar so technically um you're not weaning off the sugar drinks but like you know instead of it being 600 calories it's 10 um i'm not really sure how to calculate calories for things that are like not considered calories because like some things are and some things aren't and I know like people people argue with me like don't count all your calories and it's like um if you want to lose weight you should probably count everything that goes into your body like that's the only thing that's ever worked for me you can either do it through counting carbs or calories but calories have always been a thing with me I think that intuitive eating stuff is like total bullshit especially considering I'm not very good at my own portions so I like to know what's in stuff um so anyways, um, the thing is with um, xanthane gum and fake sugar is that technically a lot of these things don't have calories. Um, kind of like Diet Coke, it doesn't, oops, shit, it doesn't have calories. Or like um, oat fiber, which was in those tortillas, they don't, they don't have calories. But technically some of, some of the things in there do, so like I usually count them as like five calories, even though it's not really real. Um, I don't know. 
let me know your thoughts on that. Like, should I count these calories when it's in, like, fake sugar and, like, you know, fake... Battery died. Um, I know for coffee, it's especially like that. Like, it, if you drink, say, a black coffee, a lot of people consider that um, zero calorie. And it's like, it's not zero calorie, though, because it has coffee in it. Um, so I wonder, like, is it... Are you supposed to, like, count those things or not? Because... I don't know. I I want to I want to learn more science behind like things that say that they don't have calories but they do, you know? Cuz I drink a lot of diet coke and I wonder is it possible that each one of those probably has like 5 to 10 calories that are like undigestible things that are breaking down in your stomach and technically do have calories? I don't know. I don't want to sound like obsessive about calories cuz I I know I've said it like a million times in this one sentence, but like um like I said, I like to track things pretty accurately you know, because that's kind of how you succeed. If you don't track things properly, then you never really know what you're eating. Like, I used to watch this one channel where literally it pissed me off so many times because, like, she didn't count anything. Like, she would eat pickles and she says, oh, yeah, but those don't count. And it's like, yeah, they do count. Like, that's why you're fat. Like, I don't know. Like, not to be rude, but, like, if you don't count the things that don't count, then... A lot of those little things can add up, like sauces and, like, things like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it to count it if it's just coffee, but, like, let me know you, what you guys think. Like, is coffee on the table to be counted? If it's all fake sugar and xanthan gum, let me know.